I just filmed this whole video, but really hated my hair. So here we are again. <laughs> Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be doing a little cumulative haul for you guys of all the random items that I have purchased during quarantine. Um, I'm on my phone late at night, perhaps 2 a.m. and I'm scrolling and then all of a sudden I'm buying things and the next morning I wake up and I have a bunch of email confirmations that I don't remember making. Wow, healthy. So yeah, I'm gonna show you all the stuff that I have purchased and I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe down below. Let's get into it. The first store that I shopped at was Topshop. Now I purchased all of my Topshop items from the Bay, which is a Canadian company, but I believe you can also get these Topshop items on the actual Topshop website as well. So I will try and link both down below for you guys. I really just wanted some staple basics, especially because I'm wearing sweatpants 90% of the time. So it just makes more sense to have tank tops to wear with them. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. So the first thing I got is this nice racerback tank top. It's just this nice, why am I saying nice so much? It's just this ribbed material. And yeah, these ones were two for $24. So you best believe I purchased one in white. This one's a little dirty because I've already worn it. But yeah. Very cute, nice staple, you know? The next item I got was just a plain white t-shirt. Again, just to wear with like jeans or whatever. Nice, simple outfit. And yeah, cute. I haven't tried this one on yet, but I'm sure it'll look fine, normal. I don't know. <laughs> Alrighty, the next top that I got from Topshop is this really nice, printed top. It has little hearts all over it, which I really liked. And it has the ruching detail in the middle. So it's super stretchy, which is always good. And a little peplum bottom. This one I will say I got in a size two, but I think I could have sized down one more. It's just a little bit big on me. Um, so I might end up exchanging it for a smaller size. All of the other shirts that I got are in a size two and they fit perfect. The next item I got from Topshop is a swimsuit. Is anyone surprised? I'm not. It's just this really nice blue color. I don't know what this pattern would be called, but I really like it. I got this one in a size six and I definitely could have used a size four. Um, but this is all that they had left and I really just wanted it. So I got it in a size. And this is the top right here. It's just a simple triangle top with the matching gold or gold silver hoop in the middle as well as on the top. And it has adjustable straps in the back, which is always good and ties in the middle. All right. The final thing that I got from Topshop is fake leather pants. <laughs> I really like them you guys they have these nice zippers on them and they're just like a skinny fit pant they're super stretchy which I'm impressed by because I was really worried they were gonna be stiff and were not gonna fit on my body I just thought these would be really cute with like an oversized black t-shirt and some white sneakers I don't know I know where I'm gonna wear these but I liked them <laughs> And these I got in a size four and they fit perfecto. All right, the next couple items I'm gonna show you guys are just like kind of random one-offs that I purchased from companies. So yeah, here we go. The first one I'll talk about is from Princess Polly. Uh, it is an Australian boutique, but it had free shipping to Canada and I did not have to pay duties on it. So that's always a nice surprise. 
It's this really nice knitted dress in this green sage color. It has the ruching on the side and ties at the bottom so you can make it shorter or longer as you please. And it's super, super stretchy, which is always nice. I purchased mine in an extra small and it fits pretty perfect. I probably almost could have used an extra, extra small um, just because it's a bit big in my waist, but still pretty freaking cute. The next one off I have is this green square neck kind of blouse. This one is from Simons, which is a Canadian company. And I'm not too sure if you can order from it if you're in the US, but I'll try and find out for you guys. It's this really nice sage green color again. I'm a little bit obsessed. And yeah, it has the buttons in the front and ruching at the back, which makes it super stretchy. And these little puffy sleeves. And something to note is that the buttons on the front are actually fake, like it's all sewn together which I personally like because then you're not at risk of popping a button. Okay, the next one off I have are a pair of pants from Aritzia that I ordered. I'm not gonna button them up, there's no point. Um, they are these Agoldi jeans. I believe they're called the 90s jean and they have kind of a straight cropped fit and a big old hole in them. And yeah, these ones I ordered a size down because they tend to run a bit big. I'm usually a 27 in jeans and these are a 26. I just really liked the wash of them and I had heard really good things about a Goldie denim. So I thought I would try it out. Okay, the next one off I have is a swimsuit surprise. <laughs> It is from Kulani Kinis, and this is my first time ordering from them, but I will likely be ordering again because they're so nice, such good quality. This is the pattern right here, and yeah, triangle tops. The straps are not adjustable, but it fits pretty perfect on me, which is nice. I ordered a size small in the top and a medium in the bottom. I probably could have used an extra small for the top just because I like my triangles a little smaller but whatever these are the bottoms right here usually if I'm ordering swimsuits online I'll try and order bottoms that have tie sides because it's less likely that it won't fit you if they're adjustable so yeah they have these little gold hoops if you can even see that please focus Okay, you get the idea. <laughs> but yeah, these ones are really nice and I didn't have to pay duties on them and I'm pretty sure they come from Australia, so that was also very nice. Uh, these ones are part of their new um, summer collection, so they have a lot of really nice stuff on the website right now. Oh God. <sighs> Cute top on top, sweatpants on the bottom. Yeah. Okay, the fine, no, I have two more, Never mind. <laughs> the next one-off item that I have was a really big impulse buy. I don't know why I did it. <laughs> so I ordered a hoodie from the brand Talentless, which is Scott Disick's brand. And if you don't know, he is Kourtney Kardashian's ex-boyfriend, father to all of her children. Yeah. So I ordered this men's black hoodie. On the front, it just says, stay home. And then on the back, it says, I'm staying home with the little talentless logo at the bottom. I got a men's extra large because I wanted it to fit oversized but it does come in a women's version as well, which is a little more fitted. It's really expensive, you guys, like an absurd amount to pay for a hoodie, but I was super impressed by the quality when I got it. It's super nice and thick. I don't know, I'm just trying to justify my purchase. <laughs> okay, the final one-off item that I have is a new pair of shoes. I ordered some 
new all white Nike Air Force Ones from Foot Locker. These ones are the shadow, so they have a bit of a thicker sole. Um, I don't know why I prefer that, but I do. I prefer it to the normal Air Force One. Um, did I need these? No. Did I want them? Absolutely. I recently purchased another pair of Air Force Ones. I'll go get them. I purchased these Air Force One shadows a couple weeks ago. I actually had to buy them on Facebook because they were sold out everywhere. Um, but these are my first pair of shadows that I've purchased and now I think I'm obsessed which is why I purchased the plain white ones in a shadow version as well and you guys I have been looking for this pair of Air Force One shadows since Nike talked about the release in February okay and this girl that I follow on Instagram is from the UK and she already has them but I cannot for the life of me find them in Canada or in the US. They're these beautiful freaking pistachio colored, okay, is this gonna focus? There, those are beautiful, okay? Uh, I'm obsessed and I can't find them anywhere. So if you can find them, they're called the Air Force One Shadow in Spruce Aura Pistachio Frost. I need them, please help me. One thing I will say about Air Force Ones is that I always size down in them. These ones are a size 7 and they fit a little snug. So with these ones, I sized up to a size 7.5, but I'm usually like an 8.5 or an 8. So they definitely fit large. The last items I'm going to show you are actually thrifted items. Value Village recently opened back up. They're taking all the necessary precautions to make your shopping trip safe and comfortable. So I went there the other day and man did I miss Value Village. <laughs> so the first thing I purchased are these pair of jean shorts. They were originally um, jeans but I actually cut them as soon as I got home. They are from the men's section and they're vintage old navy jeans. And yeah, I cut them a little bit longer because I'm so tired of having jean shorts that my butt falls out of. So I'm hoping that this won't happen. Um, and pro tip, if you want your jean shorts frayed at the bottom, um, once you cut them, pull out all the little individual threads that you can and then throw them in the washer and then in the dryer and the dryer is what is going to give you that braid look. The next pair of jeans that I bought are these ones right here. They're a medium wash, dark wash, medium wash, I don't know. And the brand is 725 Originals. I think it's maybe a Walmart brand, but... I'm not positive. And pro tip, these literally look the exact same as the $200 pair of jeans that I bought from Aritzia, the Goldie ones that I just showed you guys. They're literally the same pant and these ones were $10. So like, check your thrift store first, you know? Because that's a bit of a waste of money. I will have to get those ones taken in and I actually have to get the $200 ones taken in too because they're too big on my waist. Yeah, but that's just what happens. Alrighty, the next thing that I got is this polo Ralph Lauren long sleeve t-shirt. Can it be a t-shirt if it's long sleeve? I don't know. This was an impulse buy. I was at the checkout and I saw it hanging there and it was really soft and I just bought it, but it was only $10, so it's okay. The next shirt that I bought is just another basic tank top in this kind of dark beige brown color. It's high neck and ribbed as well, and I already cropped this one because it was just a bit too long for my liking. The next item that I got is 
this white dress that was originally from Old Navy. I already tried this one on and it doesn't fit the best on me, but I think I'll just wear it as like a cover up over a swimsuit at the lake. The last item that I have is this really nice belt. I don't know what print this is, but I really liked it. And it was only $3, so that's a steal if I ever did see one. I actually saw this YouTuber called Alexa Sunshine 83. Um, she does a bunch of like thrifted videos and she was wearing a square neck top with medium wash jeans and a really cute um, belt similar to that one. So I went out and I bought a square neck top and medium wash jeans and a really cute belt like that one because I just want to be here apparently. All right, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this little random haul video and I hope that everyone is shopping as much as I am and that I'm not just crazy or a shopaholic. I probably am. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>